If the name John Holyoke sounds familiar, it's probably because you've been reading it in the Bangor Daily News for nearly 25 years, more than 25 years. John Holyoke is an award-winning journalist. He's been collecting stories about the Maine outdoors for many years, and many of them are now featured in his first book, Evergreens. John Holyoke is in our studio to talk about this collection of stories. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. I'm it has been quite an extensive career, 26 years now at the BDN. That's right. How do you pare 26 years down to 188 pages? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, the, the quick story on that is I didn't. I cheated a little. <laughs> so I, I pared it down to what would be about 400 pages. Uh, I pared my offerings down to 100 columns and then I divide it in half and I, I went to Island Port Press and I pitched that as a book. So I actually have 50 more that if they want another <laughs> book, I've, I've kind of cheated and I'm getting ahead of myself, but yeah. You're ready it, for round two. Yeah, it, but it, it, there are a lot of them, what we were looking for were columns that, as the, the title of the book says, are evergreens. They're gonna resonate whenever they're told. They don't really have a news hook. Uh, they didn't have to run yesterday or today, uh, they're going to make people feel something no matter when they read them. And, you know, a lot of the stuff that we do in the newspaper business is really uh, essentially news. And, in, and if you read it in a month even, it's going to be old. These ones I don't think are. We joke you're kind of the Bill Green of print. <laughs> you have gone out and told many, many stories, but you weren't necessarily the avid outdoorsman. What was it that hooked you into this job? Well, it was just a lucky break, really. <laughs> my executive editor uh, asked me about my fly, sh my fly fishing trip that I'd just been on, and I had had an interesting conversation with a man who was not pleased with what the Bangor Daily News was doing in its outdoor coverage, uh, and he wanted us to have an outdoor columnist again and we didn't at that point and my executive editor said he's probably right why don't we look at that and why don't you be that and at that point I pointed out I'd never hunted before and I love to fish but I didn't catch many fish and um, <laughs> he said that's all right we want you to make every mistake in the book and laugh while doing it and then go out and tell people's stories while you're at it was there something about fishing with someone else that drew stories out of them I think any time you share a boat or share, you know, a rock or or whatever it is when you're fishing with someone, there's just that camaraderie that goes with it. Um, and I've been lucky to meet a lot of people that welcome me into their canoes and welcome me into their drift boats or were willing to share a piece of shoreline with me and tell stories. And it just seems to, well, fishermen are liars. I mean, storytellers, not liars. <laughs> but that just leads to that. <laughs> Fishing and hunting and being outdoors in Maine leads to stories that can sometimes be remarkable and often are even true. Sad, inspiring, funny. You tell a story of a teenager versus a beaver. Yeah, that was that was an interesting one. Uh, a boy up in Aroostook County in the St. John Valley, uh, he went he went hunting across the street from his house, and he left his he had to use the bathroom. He decided mid hunt, so he, he put his rifle, leaned it up against a tree, and then jumped on his ATV and drove back to his house. And when he came back, his rifle wasn't there. And he said, I mean, okay, Frenchville, Maine is not the middle of the big city. Uh, there's not, <laughs> not anybody out people. there stealing right. things from the woods. And so he didn't really know what was going on. But then he looked, and there was a track of his gun going off through the snow. And he looked up ahead of that track, and there was a beaver dragging it into the pond. A beaver stole his gun. Stole his gun, and he never saw it again. I said, what did you do? He goes, there's nothing I could do. I couldn't catch the beaver, and he wasn't listening. So. And you don't want the beaver to turn on no. you either with that gun. <laughs> so somewhere in a beaver pond in Frenchville, Maine, there's a, there's a rifle, okay. probably on the mantle of the beaver's house there, <laughs> nice solid hardwood there or something. Just kept it as a memento. That's right. A lot of telling these stories, not just about the outdoors, you're bringing out a human side in hunters and the people who enjoy the Maine outdoors. That's sometimes difficult, sometimes easy. What, what, what did you find while you were out there? I found that people are just so gracious to share their stories, even when they're not easy stories. And I'm sure you guys get this in this line of work all the time, that you think back and you think, would I be that gracious if I were asked to tell that story? I'm not sure I would. I mean, I've talked to people who've lost loved ones. That I've talked to people uh, in really that have lost 
function, physical function of their own, have ended up in wheelchairs, and they've welcomed me into their lives, into their stories, and let me share them. And just to have that happen, uh, you become kind of a trustee. You feel a responsibility to tell the stories the right way, and I guess that's kind of what I hope comes through in the book. Well, it's quite a collection of stories. John Holyoke, again, the name of the book is Evergreens, a collection of Maine outdoor stories. And you can find more information in the 207 section of our website. And we will be right back.